<laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Makeup University. I'm Sherilyn. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Wine Wednesday. Truth be told, it's actually Sunday when I am making this video. Oh, how nice it would be to have just a little Sunday sipper. No, no, I don't. And it'd be so easy to order, have delivered, go to the corner store, blah, blah, blah. No. If you saw the last video and I talked to you about very possibly this being the last Wine Wednesday for a while, please hear me out. <laughs> so in the last video, I addressed how I have put on some pandemic pounds. Yeah, my work and work clothes and work dresses and like my nice church dresses, nothing fits, like not even in the realm, not even the stretchy ones fit. Last month, in the month of July, I did like the fancy, read expensive, uh, DIY diet, blah, 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 and uh, kind of mad at myself because I already know there's no magic pill, there's no magic spray, there's no amount of snake oil short of <laughs> liposuction or some kind of drastic surgery that takes the extra weight off. So, Part of that was keeping a food journal. And when I look back over the food journal and I look back over the clean foods, healthy foods, green foods, when I look back over my food journal, there's it's not full of cheeseburgers and pizza, although I want it to be. I did schedule in my Shabbat, what I would consider a cheat meal, which usually was um, the grilled nuggets and a kale salad from Chick-fil-A or I would get the Lean Cuisine Little Pizza, you know, like that, like, like that was, I did not get, no. Oh, so that, that was the serving and there was no way to go back into the fridge and get another slice. So I just tracked that really hard and I was walking, lifting weights, um, I was working out and after all the fancy schmancy, I lost one pound and like an inch. And I'm like, that was a lot of money for nothing. That fit body weight loss system did not work for me. And I was thinking it's got to be the sips. Now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, why should we even live if we're not going to enjoy the things that God put on the earth to enjoy? <laughs> so I thought, well, What's different is, I don't know about your pandemic, but when they shut the state the first time and said, 30 days, flatten the curve, everybody stay home. I'm not joking when I say I spent the first two weeks, <laughs> maybe three, watching Schitt's Creek and drinking the Little Penguin Syrah 2014. So good. I think that's where I put the pounds on. And even though um, like the state is still locked down, but you can still go out and do more. You can do a little bit more. And I am getting walks and workouts in. My long story is standing goat, Sev from 17 Paso Robles. This is love in a bottle. This is so good. Do you see what I did there? <laughs> that's my goat sound. Um, oh, I just wish I had more. The only way I was looking at my food journal and I don't know that I have a problem with my physical weight, whatever that number is, I have a problem. And this is what Candy Johnson was saying before all the haters attacked her for talking about wanting to be fit and healthy. Uh, I just, my clothes, like I'm not joking, my clothes don't fit. The clothes that fit before pandemic no longer fit, like a giant gap like this. I put the dress on, I could barely get into it. It just, nothing fits. Ugh. So I thought I'm just, I'm back on 
like I just had the last little sip of this last night. It's Sunday, it's first day of the week. So that's why I'm making you this Wine Wednesday video and telling you if you see Standing Goat, can you see that label? Look at him. I literally bought this because it was from Paso Robles. It had a goat on it. <laughs> I love Paso Robles and I have some of the fondest, fondest memories of a family road trip going to Washington, driving up the coast from Arizona, and we were on our way to San Simeon to tour the Hearst Castle, see the sea lions on the beach. While we were driving through this area we did not know about, there was left, right, left, right. Every, every half mile, if not mile, there was a winery. And we didn't know, we're in Paso Robles. This is what happens in Paso Robles. It's some of the best wine growing grape soil around. Oh, so we veered off. My dad was driving, he's like, do you wanna go to one of these winery wine tasting tours? And my mom and I are like, yeah! So he just did and pulled into the first one that was there and it was the Robert Hall winery in Paso Robles. We did the tour, we sipped the samples, we bought a lot of wine and special stemless glasses, and it was, it was just the greatest memory ever. Paso Robles has stuck in my mind like you would not believe. So that's why I bought this, and it was very delicious, very full-bodied, excellent sip, a beautiful finish. Oh, so the back of the label says, our Cab Sav reflects the rare beauty and balance of the unparalleled territory of Paso Robles. I agree. This wine offers a deep purple color with a nose of red berries and flavors of oak toast, blackberry, and cherry finish with ripe, supple tannins. If you see the standing goat, do yourself a favor and buy it in fact buy two i want to say this was under ten dollars like 7.99 i got it at grocery outlet and i personally cannot have the wine sitting in the cabinet and feel like no i'm not gonna have any like eventually sometime in the week i will get in there and get a glass and i was figuring it out that the pour is probably about 500 calories and then I have two glasses on average so being generous like a thousand to 1200 calories that's like <laughs> some people that's their entire day's worth of calories and for me that's about a half days of calories but remember I've already enjoyed my day my food my snacks and then at the end of the day just as I'm getting ready to sit and not be active I want to have a sip and read and write and maybe have a show and just whatever. So I think on average, I probably have an additional <laughs> 3,000 to 4,000 calories per week that I just sip. So I'm really sad, but I feel like I need to make an adult decision and say I need to go a full month like August, even though it's my son's birthday, we have Labor Day weekend coming up. Uh, and I know I can, if you're already thinking, oh, well, Sherilyn, you don't have to give up the sips. You could just have a gin and tonic or a vodka soda. No, <laughs> no. If you ever see me sipping a gin and tonic, I've probably been kidnapped and I'm crying for help. I just, I don't like it. It does not have the same, and the good gal pal of mine, she does not like red wine. She'll have it if there's nothing else around. She loves a vodka cranberry, loves a cosmopolitan, and I just, I don't, I don't. Like if I'm out at a party or an event and they're like, here, this is what we have. Sure, I'll have a sip, but this, I don't know what it is. It's gotta be, somebody tell me. But I sure as heck think it is about, there is something in the, the grape, the tannins, the wine, the, there's something in here, or maybe it's all mental, but just that sip of that sweet but bitter, yet dry red wine, it just makes me happy. 
<laughs> That's why God has wine in the Bible. It makes you happy. And obviously in uh, pandemic days, I just had too much and I didn't exercise. And I ate like that mask is to keep the food from going in. And I just, I'm drawing a line in the sand for the month of August. Um, so I officially finished this uh, August 1st. And there's gonna be no wine this month. And I'm gonna follow along on my fitness thing that I got on the Tony Robbins, whatever, and work to get back, not lose pounds. I, you know, it's a funny thing, I don't really care about the pounds. I care that beautiful, beautiful dresses like this fit. Can't, but it's buttons. It's buttons. I can get it on my body, but then it's full on like Chris Farley. Bah, bah, then a little coat. I just can't. <laughs> I can't. can't. Don't even ask about my jeans. I'm still in the yoga pants and they're snug. So for everybody who hated on Katie, uh, Candy Johnson, because she's working on her fitness, that says, says more about you than it is about her. And I am just going to give it like the college try this month. Because I have like three events coming up and I need to have the professional business dress so I need to get fit to get in it because you know what happens like this is just time to wrap up here's why I do not buy a bigger dress you know what happens when you buy a bigger dress you fill it <laughs> so um, yeah yeah this Wine Wednesday made on a Sunday is to let you know that Standing Goat from Paso Robles is the most amazing red wine. It's a Cab Sav from 2017. I bought it at Grocery Outlet for just about, I think I want to say it was $7.99, maybe it was $8.99. Doesn't matter if it was $10.99, that bottle was so good. And I'm telling myself, oh, come September, you'll have yourself Standing Goat again. So I am motivated and committed, gonna get into my work dress and yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you're working on a fitness plan, let me know because I certainly need to be working on mine. And that's all, that's all. I still gonna make some videos throughout the week for our summer of something. Cause as you know, um, it is back to school. Not like any other year ever in my life or my child's life though we are prepping to start school and just start it in a different mode way trying to set the routine working on the routine to get into the routine of you know you, you got to do your studies online and I will have some back to school uh, Coles did a really tone deaf ad it was all back to school clothes. I'm like, what are you kidding? I personally am not like normally, there's definitely budget set aside to get my son new shoes, new clothes, new backpack. Do you want a new lunch bag? Whatever, get him whatever he needs to go back to school with. We go do a mega shopping trip. Not this year because he's not going, <laughs> he's not going anywhere. He could be in his favorite fat pants they're soft cotton and he loves them and it pretty much just rolls from one day into night into a day in those and um, that's all he needs for school because it's all online Ugh. okay rant over video got long I hope you get some standing goat and I will be back in September with a wine Wednesday video and a positive report of my work dresses fitting how about that Huzzah! And we'll celebrate with a glass of wine. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today. <laughs>